Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing your video going over an add-on I just found out was a thing that I wish I knew it was before. I don't know when it was developed, but it replaces three of my add-ons, and it is called Omni Auras. And so I'm going to go over the settings I use. My profile is in the description. So if you want exactly what I use, I've gotten compliments on it. You can have it. It's all yours. You can make any changes you want to it. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. The biggest reason I'm making this video is because I didn't know this was an add-on. So I'm hoping or I'm assuming a lot of other people don't know this add-on. So I said it replaced three add-ons. It replaces my big debuffs. So that's a big one. That's a staple for PvP and PvE. I don't see it used a lot in PvE, but PvP, it's definitely a staple. And you could see right here, this is what it replaces. So it does the debuffs, anything like that on the side of my party frame. And it also replaces buff overlay, which is this right here. So it shows the, any cooldown that's active, any cooldown that you want that is active on your teammate, it will show on your raid frame. And then the other one is nameplate auras, which is what shows like debuffs and buffs on the enemy nameplate. And I use that a lot for CC, my Zen spheres, any CC that was really important. And then there's niche dots like unstable affliction that I track because it's, you don't want to use in cap on something that has UA on them. That's what I use it for. Those are three add-ons. I think this is a fantastic add-on. I'll quickly go through the settings just so people get a good understanding in case you want to make changes yourself or if you want to take my profile as an example and do whatever you want with it. So the first thing is the general. This is just the text and the font that you want to use i don't really change much in here raid frames so this is kind of the bulk of the add-on debuff is going to be the old db big debuffs which is right here on the left side of my raid frame you could do whatever you want with it you can enable it disable it doesn't matter you could show player which is you so you could show debuffs on yourself or not i like to because a lot of times i'm looking over here rather than up here i am occasionally looking at my debuffs on my screen but most of the time look at my raid frames because that's where my teammates are and there's really nothing else to it. i change the icon sizes just to make things a little bit easier depending on what is what the debuff is like i want to know crowd control that i can dispel and then debuffs that are scary like ua i want to i want them to be big death mark is the size is bigger stuff like that big debuffs like that i want to see bigger that way it's easier for me to understand what's going on buffs right here so this is the rate, the buff overlay replacement right here. So this can show any buff on your raid frame, which is really nice. Again, I don't change anything here. I just make everything pretty much the same. Blizzard buffs, I actually don't know. Oh yeah, I don't like this personally. I don't like seeing these hots on my raid frame like this. I prefer the Blizzard style. So I don't have this enabled. If you wanna see your hots like this, kind of stack like this, do it. I I don't like to, so that's just me. Visibility, this just shows where you want to see it. And then this is a priority of what you wanna see. I, I probably have changed some things in here, but this stays pretty much the same for the most part. And I'll show you where this is determined. Uh, later on uniframes i don't have this i have none of these enabled so this is what makes it so on your like character frame and your target frame and probably your focus frame it shows debuffs i i i am not a big fan of that so i just disable it now again of course you can enable it and then disable it for certain units that's cool for some reason i just never liked it i just personal preference but feel free again do whatever you want all right, I moved down to the arena area to show you the nameplate portion of this add-on. And what this does is this is replacing nameplate auras, which shows like buffs and debuffs over nameplate. So you can see my in cap right here. This is on the auras right here. I also do the same thing if I was in war mode. I do the same thing with my Zen spheres. You can see my Zen spheres on there. And then when you don't target it, it doesn't scale up. So it looks like this. I like this a lot. Some people don't. Some people don't like the nameplate stuff, which again, completely fine. It's your UI. So you could disable it, of course, but I like it. And yeah, there's really nothing else to it that I don't, I don't think I changed much. I don't think I changed anything in here, to be honest with you. This is a really good add-on straight out of the box. I don't only show CC only because there are certain things that I do want to see. Like again, unstable affliction, dots like that. I want to see combustion. I want to see any kind of, I want to see incarn. I want to see dragon rage. I want to see that because I think it's really, I'm as a healer, my attention is on like right in front of me. 
on people's nameplates. Now, if you're a DPS, maybe you're paying attention to other things. I feel like it's pretty similar for DPS. So again, if you only want to see CC though, tell you there's weak auras that you can make as well. Visibility, I have it everywhere. And then priority, I don't change, I didn't change anything in here. I just have priority the same. Now, what I found very confusing about this add-on at first was the auras. So the this is really neat once you understand what's going on. So I'm gonna hover over the R. So this is raid frame. So do you wanna see to the left of your raid frame when someone gets pummeled? I do. I wanna see when somebody gets kicked. Do I wanna see on an enemy nameplate when somebody is kicked by pummel? Of course I do. And this, this is pretty much what I did for all, every single spell. So you can go through every single spell. Most spells right here. So do you want to see it on the raid frame? Yes, I want to see when somebody is shadowy, dual and smoke bomb on the raid frame. It's easier for me to see. And then do I want to see on the enemy nameplate? Of sure, because I do RBGs and I want to see when someone's in a smoke bomb or if I play with a rogue, I want to know if someone's shadowy due to smoke bomb. So this is, these are debuffs, which are great. You know, do I want to see when my sphere of despair is on somebody on my team? And then do I want to see it when it's on a raid frame? Of course. So raid frame. If I got rid of it, my sphere of despair goes away, right? That's the enemy nameplate, but I do want to see it. These are debuffs, buffs right here. Go through. I went through every single one. I did this work for you. For anyone that wants my profile, it's in the description. I did all of it. Again, my my preference for what I want to see might be different than yours, so I would still recommend going through it. But I pretty much just try to track like certain things, like certain cooldowns. Doom wins is important for enemy. I don't care if my teammate has it, right? I, I don't really care. I don't care if my teammate has Shadowy Dance, right? I go through certain things. I adjust to what I want, which is what I recommend anyone to doing. NPC auras and then filters. I don't know what this is. Aura editor. So I did add some things that I think the add-on was missing. Bladestorm from Warriors. This is PvE. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, focus growth. I actually don't know what that is i think that that's rest of druid but i don't need it frost bomb really important versus frost mages phase shift which is like the greater fade the one second where they're immune to cc and everything phase shift is really important and then provoke because we taunt as misweavers or as monks so or a blacklist or a, i didn't do anything here i did nothing here so that is this add-on i really hope the developer keeps updating this add-on because this single-handedly replaced three add-ons, which I'm very happy with. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions. I love add-ons. Please, please send me your questions. And again, my profile is in the description. Copy and paste it, and it's all yours. And with that said, that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.